the the executive head came to the legislative head and said this stock prices have rarely been higher and those at the top have never done better but average wages have barely budged inequality has deepened upward mobility has stalled the no, cold hard no, no. fact is that even in the midst of recovery too many americans are working more than ever just to get by let alone to get ahead and too many still aren't working at all. So Yay, our job is to reverse these trends. It won't happen right away, and we won't agree on everything. But what I offer tonight is a set of concrete, practical proposals to speed up growth, strengthen the middle class, and build new ladders of opportunity into the middle class. Mm -hmm. Some require congressional action. And I'm eager to work with all of you. Sure. Now listen to this. But America does not stand still, and neither will I. So wherever and whenever I can take steps without legislation to expand opportunity for mm -hmm. more American families, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. 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 This is not uniting from the two of you. Well, we're, cheering. we're cheering. We're with him. We're no, cheering. We're, we're not uniting. They're, he's getting rid of so Congress. Is, he didn't need him. Here is Congress, mm -hmm. whose job is to protect the balance of power to make sure that no executive gets out of hand, standing and cheering, saying, yes, move without us. Now... I believe a fulfillment of a of a movie happened last night. We've seen this happen before in another republic. Here's the audio. In order to ensure the security and continuing stability, the republic will be reorganized into the first galactic empire for safety and so this is how liberty dies. A thunderous yes, applause. Yep. So this From is how liberty dies. Woman, for, listen to this. And and every time these movies are made. They make our case. Every time they make our case. And those same people who say those words never recognize that they are cheering on what they've just made and, say, and know is bad. Mm -hmm. They're making those movies and they're like, oh, yeah, this is the evil empire. This is the beginning of the evil empire. And for the security and for the safety and so we can continue to grow, you have to give me this power. And so what happens? Remember, they had all of the and and don't don't get me wrong. Uh, me personally, I take Jar Jar Banks and put him in a blender. <laughs> but um, they 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 orchestrate this whole thing so Jar Jar Banks because they know he is he is not he's it, it's a it's an insult to the blender to put him in a blender. Um, they know he will do the wrong thing, and so they orchestrate to put him in. A, a, a weakling and get rid of the people um, uh, that can actually stand up and say no this is wrong they they orchestrate it so all those people happen to be missing and he gives this stirring speech he if you remember right he also shouts down remember who was it Pat there was one of them that spoke up against it and they shouted him down mm-hmm shunned them do you remember that yeah i don't remember exactly who it was but yeah right yeah but they but they shouted them down and shunned mm -hmm. them and then once he said and i just need this because we're in an emergency right now and i'll return the the power to you the guy becomes the evil emperor and now why does star wars work Obviously, there's never been, uh, uh, you know, space, uh, you know, creatures. There's no such thing as Darth Vader until Ray Kurzweil finishes his work. Um, I mean, there's not, you know, the, this all of this stuff is nonsense. Please, Yoda and the lightsabers and the fight with the, you know, the guy who looks like the devil and all that stuff. That's not why that's a success. 
that's a success because once you strip all of that down, you can put that in the Old West. You can put that in ancient Greece. You can set that in Rome. You can set that in Germany. Or you can set that in today's America. Yep. The story is true. Those innate fears and concerns are part of humanity. We we know yep. to be on the lookout for that stuff. And it's it's ironic. We, we were just talking about this. The, uh, the actress who said those words. So this is how liberty dies. To thunderous applause. Natalie Portman voted for this president. So it doesn't even ring true as he's standing there, and he's done this before, as he's right. standing there telling telling Americans that I'm going to do everything I can without your Congress, without your Senate, without this chamber. Well, I, I don't need them to do my work. Uh, I'm going to be I'm going to be a dictator, and they're they're thunderously applauding. I, People I like Natalie Portman are. It, it it always happens this way. The artists always are the first to lead us into slavery. And the artists are the first to lead us out. You know, they're, they're, they're always the ones who are, um, um, are, are, are the first to embrace. I mean, you look at some of.